Good morning traders, this is Tony D from Easy Markets Sydney Dealing Room. Uh, we had a very uh, pro US dollar result on Friday. So the market was heavily short the US dollar going into NFP. Uh, now those looking for a bit of strength out of a, a decent number were pleasantly surprised not just by the, uh, the first initial reaction but also the second wave of selling that came through. So if you're looking at what happened initially, uh, the numbers came out around about 209,000 versus 180,000 forecast. Uh, average hourly earnings and, and unemployment numbers were as expected, so nothing to really get excited about there. Uh, but generally, the US uh, dollar was probably oversold in terms of the potential for data to come out solid and then they raise rates this year is very real. You know, only a couple of pieces of data have been soft and the market has acted as if there's been heavy, heavy... Um, uh, you know, no chance at all of the, of the Fed raising rates. These numbers have put this uh, back in the state where you can definitely see, uh, you know, rate hikes as soon as September if data continues to be uh, strong. But most likely December is where everyone's looking. So the initial reaction was down about about you know, 50 points. But then you got a second wave of selling came in, coming through in the US session all the way down to 107.30. Um, and that was... You know, that was where the, if you're looking at the dollar index, the majority of the strength came through. And that's um, where we see right now uh, a little bit of softening on the US dollar since the open in Asia. But definitely, this is the, if you're going to get the market resuming uptrend, then it could come through. Um, or coming back to a, a little bit of an uptrend, it could come through on these levels. Alright, so um, let's see how this plays out for today. In terms of data this week, this, uh, the main event that the market's going to be looking forward to is Wednesday, uh, is Thursday's, um, Thursday morning's RBNZ. And that is where you're looking at Aussie Kiwi. Now, we looked at this trade last week. Uh, what we have is that the RBA has already had their jaw burning attempt. Now it's the Kiwi's turn. And uh, the RBNZ is a little bit more aggressive. You know, so if the RBNZ is more aggressive, then the chances are that the Kiwi will sell off further. And Kiwi's already been under pressure in the last couple of uh, weeks here um, after failing at that 75 level uh, then having some weak employment inflation numbers so if the central bank wants to talk it down they do have their the fundamental background uh, drop to do that um, so the selling of the kiwi dollar does make sense on the horizon there uh, and if the us dollar pushes back then you get that one two combo that can push the kiwi lower all right guys we'll update again tomorrow um, if you have any questions or you want to talk to a dealer like myself, please join up at Easy Markets uh, below and then call through to the Sydney Dealing Room during uh, every Asian session. You'll be able to get uh, myself or another dealer there to just go through what's happening in the market and uh, you know what the main levels are as well. Thanks, guys.